So today we'll be looking at a best practice in SD for sales of services. The best practice ID is 2EQ. Firstly, we'll be looking at why we need services in SD and how we sell it and how we bill it. We'll be, I'll, give, I'll give you the details for the authorization roles required and also the app details that you can look at. Then how we create a service order and how we do the billing of the services. So why do we have uh, services in, in SAP SD? Firstly, we create a service um, material type DIN in the sales order. We use it to, to create the sales order for the service that we rendered, that we're charging the customer for, and the billing happens uh, without a delivery document, directly with, uh, related to the order, which I will show you in this video. The authorization roles uh, that you can look at the SAP BR internal sales rep which you can look at and then also SAP BR billing clock. The apps that we're going to use today is firstly the, the manage sales orders app, um, create billing document and manage billing documents and here are the IDs that you can look at when you want to work with these apps. So if we go to SAP firstly I want to take you through the process of creating a sales a server sales order you go to manage sales orders in here we're not going to fall to anything right now we're just going to go to create and create va01 in here you can select your order type we're just going to use the standard order or for now but you can also use if you have a specific order types created for service orders you can select your order order type sales org 1710 distribution channel and division you continue so firstly the sold to party that we're going to look at is 171003 and then customer reference we're going to go abc123 and the reference date is today the 14th press enter the service material that we're going to use is sm001 that's our service that we deliver to the customer and we're just going to select an order quantity of one and that's it you can now save then you have your order number 11270 next up we display the sales order and i just wanted to show you how the output looks you go to more extras output header and then it gives you the output condition which you select and display document and here's the order confirmation that you can send to your customer should you wish to do that you can print or download the pdf so now we go back to my home the main screen next up is we're going to create the billing document directly from the server sales order there's no delivery document created we go to the billing section billing processing and then create the billing document so firstly you will set up the billing settings and here you can play with a few a few options here you can set the billing date and type um, you can create separate billing documents for each items in this in the billing list and so on so you can play with these settings i'm just going to leave this like that for now then i'm going to select my order number which is this one and then i'm going to create my billing document next up um, we have to select a billing type which you can filter here we're going to say we want to look at f2 and we go for it we select it and we select on the date picker we select today's date and okay and the system will create a temporary it's in a temporary billing status but this is how it looks your, your invoice document for the service and then you can just basically save and SAP will create these document, this document for you um, you can look at the accounting data so you can look at the process flow here's your standard order, here's your invoice and there's your journal entry and if you select this you can drill down there we go, there's your GL accounts that was that the amounts were posted to so that detail is available for you to look at so let's return to my home 
Next up, I want to show you the last app in the billing processing section called Manage Billing Documents. So we want to look at the billing documents that we created today. I select today's date. So specifically the one that we did just now, I want to select that one and we just display. Okay, and there's a number of tabs that you can look at. Again, you can go to process flow. But I want to go to output items, which you can see is here. And then if you select it and we preview, then you will see here's your invoice document. Again, in PDF that you can print or download and send to your customer. Thank you for watching this video on sales services. Um, please like and subscribe to my channel uh, for more quality content on SAP S4HANA.